Okay, everybody, today we are going to make a river and we're going to guide how it goes. We're going to guide the landscape on how it goes around it instead of like we did in the last tutorial on rivers where it figured out the landscape for us. I also want to give you guys a quick tip on how to move around that I discovered, and that is to hold the right mouse button so you can pan around and tilt. Um, but then while you do that, do use the WASD keys and that will allow you to sort of strafe Go forward, backwards, and of course, as you move the mouse around, you can go up and down and around and stuff like that. So much more intuitive than any other form of uh, navigation, in my opinion. Okay, so in this project, now if you don't know how to get to this, just go to File, New, Open a Project, go to Island Templates, hit blank, go to Create, bam, you should arrive here, where you will have the Island Settings, the player one and player two spawn pads. Now, uh, what we're going to do is first off is create ourselves a bit of landscape. And I want to talk a little bit about this because it's important and how we're going to create a river. So best thing to do is use your shortcut keys, which is shift two, and that will take us into landscape mode. And if you want to go back to selection mode, shift one or up here, selection, landscape, modeling, animation. But we want to just, we want to use, we want to keep our, our mouse as quiet as possible and our fingers doing the work. So shift two. And that takes us into landscape mode. Now landscape mode allows us to create a landscape. Now I've already talked about this in a couple of tutorials, but we'll cover it again, what the heck. So the section size is right now 63 by 63. Say for example, you said it really small, seven by seven. It just makes this small space here. And this is useful when you wanna make different layers of landscape all over the place, but we're just gonna kind of fill the area up. So we'll go with, uh, let's go with 31 by 31. It's not overwhelming. It's just enough space. Everything else can kind of stay the same. Again, if you don't have uh, this grass selected, if you've got some other things selected in here, just hit this uh, little arrow and that will revert back to the default, which is the grass, and hit create. Now, when you create, you're going to get a pile of grass. Go ahead and save, so control S, because we want to save stuff as often as possible. And we're going to come back down into our little characters here because what happens is when you create a landscape you see how our characters are no longer uh, above ground so if we were to start the game uh, what would happen is you just fall right through the ground so right now I'm sculpting so I'm going to actually hit control Z twice because I sculpted twice because we're in sculpt mode obviously so we want to hit shift one to go to selection mode and just hold this little arrow here and that'll bring these little doodads up to the proper level where they need to be at, which is above ground or you start the game and you fall and it's totally useless. The other thing we're going to do quickly is hide these in the game by hitting this little checkbox way on the right as you select each one because we don't need the platforms. We just need to appear in the level. I don't think I've ever seen a game where these are visible, um, but they're visible here so you can see them better. All right. So the other thing that we can do actually is just over here in our outliner, we can go to the island settings and that is an actual little widget here, this little guy here. So sometimes it's easier if we put this up a little bit higher to get to, or you can go find it in here. You can hide it as well. I like to kind of bring it up to see it. Okay, so with that all out of the way, we're gonna go back to landscape mode, shift two, takes us into landscape mode. And we're gonna take a look on our left-hand side here. So inside landscape mode, uh, we've got Manage, Sculpt, and Paint. So inside Sculpt, um, we're going to right-click on our layer, just our normal layer here, and hit Create. And that's going to make another layer. We're going to call this layer, so double-click, and we're going to call this one Water. So we're going to dedicate a layer just to water, because this allows us to hide or lock uh, the layer. It's kind of handy. If you're doing other things, you don't want to select your rivers or your water, because they're all over the place, um, then you can it'll, it'll be locked, because what we're going to do next is actually right click on this and reserve for splines. Okay, so just select that and we'll talk about that. It'll say, you sure you wanna do that? And just say, yeah, I totally wanna do that. So the bottom layer is going to be for our sculpting. You can see here we can sculpt, I'll just control Z that, save. And uh, our top layer is for splines because splines uh, are what rivers are made of. So. In the content drawer, we're going to go into Fortnite and then hit environment. And then inside of here will be water. And inside of here will be, well, all of our water. So we're gonna hit river. So we're just gonna create a river, just chuck it in here. 
And uh, let's see how that looks. That's not bad. But what it's doing is it's actually messing with the landscape. So the water's there. We can see through the water to the concrete underneath. So actually, the best example to do is, so let's, let's move this around just a little bit. So shift one to go back to uh, selection mode. We'll select this spline, and we're just going to move the whole thing over. And you see how the landscape changes? So this is the same thing we did in our last tutorial where we just made a river and it messed with the uh, the landscape. So we're going to sculpt that today. So we're going to do a combination of the first tutorial I did and the second tutorial and uh, and really make this our own. So a spline, as we've talked about, is um, this line here. And this line has points, so you can move all these points around. So if we move this point way over here, and these are handles, so we can also move this handle maybe way over there. That straightens this part out, and then it makes this weird curve, which is kind of not really how... Um, a river might look. It might be a much more meandering sort of thing. And then we can take this handle over here, maybe, yeah, let's move this over this way and then this way. Anyways, bottom line is we're making a river that's going to do, uh, uh, maybe come off the map a little bit. And there's nothing wrong with sort of messing with this until you kind of get what you want, what you're looking for. And then once that's done, we will start sculpting out this river. So I think that looks all right for now. So next thing we want to do is we want to turn off effects landscape. So turn that off. And now you can see we don't have any more water. The water is gone. Uh, but that's no problem. So what we'll do is we'll just raise up the river just a little bit because we actually don't want to, we want to be able to sculpt this river. We should probably have the front so it's going downwards. And uh, if we really want to take a look at that, we can actually come way down and you can see the height really easily this way. See how it's going much flatter over there and this is kind of up and then this is much higher. So let's move this out a little bit just for fun. Let's bring this up just a little bit more so you can really see how your river is going to come along. I much prefer this over having uh, Fortnite figure out the landscape for me. And this one can come up just a smidge. All right, so that'll be fine, something like that. And let's come out of here. So we hold our right mouse button and use the WASD keys to move around like we would in the game. So that's looking pretty good. I think we might just move these guys out of the way for now. All right, so with our river selected, We've done all of our spline work. We're now going to go into landscape mode and uh, shift two. Okay, so selecting this won't do any, or doing, doing anything with this uh, selected won't do anything unless you want to add more spline based uh, features like a lake. And we don't. So we're going to lock this so we don't mess with it at all. We just ignore it altogether. So from here, we're going to do our landscaping work, which means we need to go into Sculpt. We'll go into Paint if we want to. We did some painting in the last one. It was pretty cool. So with this layer selected, we can... I've gone and select the other one. Okay, so go there, go to Sculpt. Okay, so we've got our bottom one selected. Go to Sculpt. And the brush is pretty darn big right now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring that down to 1024. I think the tool strength will probably be pretty good at 0.3 and the fall off is not bad, but let's sort of bring that up or down, I mean, so it's a little sharper, maybe just like 0.3 or so, something like that. And then as we sort of click along here, we're going to see the terrain move and let's see all around our river. So we can make any terrain we want. So maybe this area here is, is really quite tall. You can have some ability to come out of the river there and then this will be really high, you know, kind of thing. Something like that. Um, let's go ahead and just smooth this edge right here as well. And maybe we will just zoom in a smidge and just erase that bit there. Really wanted that to be sort of a bit more of a hill. Uh, 
All right, so the water's coming up against, it's kind of a natural, actually. Let's go, actually, what we'll do is we'll texture this later. So we'll leave that, and that's fine. And then just keep coming along. Oops, I've got it on erase. So I'll go back to sculpt and uh, just get the edge. Uh, we've buried our, our characters again. So let's come around and see how this is going. And you can make this any way you want, obviously. This is, if you guys know who Bob Ross is, which you should, you know, there's no, there's no, no, uh, no accidents in, in making stuff. There's no problems. It's going to be whatever way it turns out. But we want to make sure we get the edge of the water properly sorted out. So actually my brush is a little bit big. So let's bring that down so I can just, and, and play around with this. Like really goof around trying to figure out, because you can make anything you want. This is your, your world. <laughs> I really am uh, quoting Bob Ross at this point. This is your world. You can do anything you want. Going to have some happy little mountains here to go with our happy little river. And uh, and then everybody's happy. Okay, I'm really going to build this area up a little bit. I think I want to have this be tall. And obviously I could... Uh, Change your brush size, but I kind of like working on a small brush size. We'll just come all the way over here. Really narrow this river up as it comes down. Something like that. So you can make your own... Yeah, you make your own sort of uh, river, river bed and everything in here. So just bring that all the way up. So that's going out there. That looks pretty good. We could, we could fly this a little bit like that. So that's cool. So that looks good. Oh. You know what I think? I think this should. Uh, oh, it's a little bit, a little bit weird. I think I just want that a little higher, just like that. All right, so that's looking good. I like that a lot. And then over here, we'd probably create a lake that's going to match up with this edge. And there you go. There's that's a pretty realistic looking little river. We can climb out there. Right, and it just narrows down, it's just this narrow little area, and off into the ocean it would go. So that's how you would you would be able to change. Because if if we had it so that um let's see, let's unlock this for a second, go back into selection mode, shift one. If we were to select this spline and put effects landscape, it would totally mess with all this. We wouldn't be able to do this at all. It just it would it would um, flatten out the edges and just wouldn't look good. So, in my opinion, I think the automatic um, effects landscape should be off and you turn it on later. So that's looking nice. That's looking really nice. Let's go back into landscape mode and back on our bottom layer because we don't want to mess with the the uh, the water layer. We're just actually going to put in just a little bit of of dirt, just to sort of actually let's use. Let's use sand. Let's put some sand in here. Just like that. <laughs> like that. Isn't that cool? Just make it look like a, a sandy, sandy area underneath there. Yeah, just like that. And it gets rid of all the grass. The rocks stay, because that makes sense. Right, you can do that. We'll have a little sandy beach right here. Maybe you'd bring a, a drink and uh, an armchair. Yeah, something like that. And just clean up the riverbed because obviously we're not going to uh, have any grass on the uh, the bottom of the of this river. It's not going to make any sense. So just continue to fill this in with sand. We're just painting that in on that bottom layer. That looks pretty nice so far. Let's keep going. What the heck? Might as well, right? Let's let's make this area here a little sandy. Get rid of all the green. Doesn't make any sense to have green here, so let's make this as nice as we can. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, all the way out to the ocean. Off it goes. Look at that. So now, what we've done here is we've, <laughs> that's beautiful, uh, we've taken our river that we placed in just our basic landscape that we filled in. We've shaped it. We've built up the landscape around it and textured the bottom of the river so that it doesn't look like it's, it's grass. 
And it looks like that. And underwater we go. Isn't that cool? Oh, we still got a bunch of grass here, don't we? Because we don't want that. Let's get rid of that. All right. Some little pebbles in here. Something like that. All right. And that's it. That's how you do all of that. It's very simple. It's great to play with. Give it a go. A lot of cool tools in here. So uh, if you have any questions or thoughts on this, let me know. Uh, until then, I'll see you in the next one.